Healthy in this video will discuss high res TEM, focusing on the theory part. Let's start by writing the most fundamental equation. So GR is equal to FR, then the funny shape cross H R minus R dash. GR is a function that describes what you see in the image. FR is a function that describes what you see from the object or what the object is supposed to be. H R minus R dash is called point spread function. The funny shape cross is something called convolution. What this equation tells you is what you see on the image plane is not the real object. It's actually the object convoluted by the point spread function. This is due to the wave nature of the electron beam. Individual points on the object will be disks on the image plane because of the point spread function. From the examples in the previous video, you have seen that in high res TEM images, you get lattice information, and in crystalline materials, the lattice has periodicity. So we can look at the image function GR in the reciprocal space via Fourier transform. So GR is equal to sigma u, capital GU, multiplied by the exponential 2 pi i, u dot r, where u is something we call the reciprocal lattice vector. And if we Fourier transform GR, the small g, we will get the capital GU. Let's Fourier transform two more functions here. So Fourier transform FR, the lowercase f, will get capital F U. And Fourier transform small HR will get capital H U. The capital H U here is very, very important. There's a name for that. It's called the contrast transfer function. You'll see very soon why it's very important. Capital G U, capital F U and the capital H U, these are related. So capital G U is equal to capital F U multiplied by capital H U. Look at what we had in the real space and compare that to what we had in the reciprocal space. We can tell that the convolution in real space gives multiplication in reciprocal space. The contrast transfer function H U can be written down as a product of three terms. That's A U. EU and BU. AU is called the aperture function. It is determined by the size of the objective aperture you use. EU is called the envelope function. Envelope function tells you about the attenuation of the wave. BU is the aberration function. It is caused by the aberration of the lenses. The aberration function BU can be written down as exponential i chi u 
Then the chi function, the chi u, is written down as pi delta f lambda u square plus half pi cs lambda cube u to the power of 4. The delta f here is how much you under focus. And the CS is our old friend called spherical aberration coefficient. The two terms here, the first part, can be viewed as the defocus part. The second part here is the aberration part. What this tells us is the contrast we see in high res TEM is affected by the defocus value you set as well as the value of the aberration coefficient of the microscope. As a user, you can not easily change the CS value, but you can easily change the defocus value. So by changing the focus, you can actually change the contrast. That's why HU is called the contrast transfer function. Coming back to the chi u equation, there are two parts. There's the defocus part and the aberration part. We can take advantage of this to use one defect to offset the other. So there is a concept called Scherzer defocus. Scherzer defocus is written down as delta F SCH equal to minus 1.2 CS lambda to the power of half. What Scherzer defocus does is the contrast transfer function can be optimized by balancing the effect of spherical aberration against a particular negative value from Scherzer defocus. This is the best performance you can achieve in a conventional high-res TEM. In the next video, we'll have a pictorial view of the envelope function and the contrast transfer function. I will also share with you some of the high-res TEM images I have taken from my research.